Right, it has been a good, what, three, maybe four weeks since my last haul video, so you know, bad time for one. Um, so today I have a haul from The Works. For those of you not in the know, The Works is a store here in the UK that has like discount, it's a very much a discount store, mostly books, stationery and crafty stuff. And also like random bits and bobs they have in sometimes, but yeah, that kind of thing. Um, I do usually go in store because they are physical stores as well, but they often have more stuff available online than they do in store and they also had a 20% off online sale that I went for. I actually missed the day they said the sale was on but the code still worked so bonus. And I also had, um, they do a reward card system there and I had about 8 quick to spend on that reward card. so extra bonus if you are in the UK and you go to the works and you don't have one of their reward cards because everyone in the queue always goes no I don't want one thank you no one no no thank you they are one of the best reward cards out there the amount of times I'm in the works and give them my card and they're like oh you've got five pound to spend oh you've got three pound to spend like I have no idea how these points accrue because I don't go there all the time but they're there and I'm not going to complain but anyway Enough chitter chatter, I will get on with the haul. I haven't got the box in shot as I would usually do. Oh, a little corner punch there. Um, yes, as I would usually do because the box is mahusive. It is not, con you know, equal to the amount of stuff I got. They just put like about, it was about two thirds of packaging. But anyway, let's, let's get on with it. So in no particular order, I'm just pulling things out as I see them and um, I also, they don't provide an invoice in the box, so if it's something that hasn't got the price on, I'm going to have to make a best guess at the price, but also the 20% off and the money I had off, so I never paid all of that, you know what I mean. So yes, the first thing I got is very, very dull, but just some packs of bubble envelopes that I use for Happy Mail and stuff. As you can see, they were a pound each, which is a very good price for these. I keep, I have a terrible habit of just using, um reusing ones that people have sent me and it gets to the point where they're just far too dogged to use so I thought it might be nice to send my poor poor pen pal some actual new ones for once so I got those next also not particularly interesting but some foam double-sided tape and pads for you know lifting up whatever you're sticking down and that was two pound I have used this stuff before and run out I think I've got one sheet of these foam pads left so yes it's really really good so bought another one Next, I picked up these Forever Friends Opulent Copper Sentiment Stickers. Now, I don't remember exactly how much these were, and obviously the price isn't on them, and I can't get them out. Oh, they're actually stuck in there. Let's just rip it open, and I've knocked the tripod. Fabulous. Right, so I managed to get them out of the packaging. So, yes, just, I'm not sure about copper. It's more of a gold yeah it, it really is a gold rather than a copper it's a dark gold but there's not really much red in it but whatever um i didn't actually read the label when i bought them i thought they were gold so there we go i think they were a pound or maybe two pound i'm not sure i do not remember but they are clear stickers if i can pick one up let's i'm failing miserably with this like seriously seriously it's not not going well and they're actually not lifting up very well oh fail there we go clear stickers so they've just got various sentiments on hugs hello celebrate happy birthday one in a million that kind of thing so yes there's those then i got two packs of twine this is twine that has like a foil um twined in with it um, so there's a silver one and a gold one, just really handy for happy mail and stuff like that. So I've got a couple of those, and as you can see, pound each. Then for £2, I got this pack of 12 decoupage kits. I won't use them for decoupage, I don't do decoupage, but I will just punch them out and use them as die cuts or ephemera. Right, sorry about that, got interrupted. What was I saying? Yes, anyway, I won't use them for decoupage. I will just use them as die cuts or um, ephemera. So we've got, it's really, really various what's in here. So there's big, large things like this and then little ones. Do those pop out? Yeah, they do. Sorry, it looked like they didn't for a second there. So there's this one, which has this sort of nice gardeny one. They're all sort of very vintage style, really pretty. Love the colours on this page. I think they're designed so you make 
the card yourself with the suggestions they've used so put that and that and those on there um but i will not do that personally i'll just use them as and when i see fit i mean they do sort of some of them match each other and i will probably use them in that way but yes so there's all of the ones in there very gardeny themed as well are we at the end yeah yeah oh i like this one sing sweet bird what a little bird said very sweet next i got a pack of what they're calling jewel stickers enamel dots type thing per less ones for a pound you've got um those are actually slightly different so those are white those are pearl those are a very very light sort of sage green a purple and a blacky gray color so those are those so my next purchase was a bit of a test really these are a caldo drawing inks so i got the two they were all the same price i think were they were a pound or two pound each you know what i really can't remember they might be two pound each oh i don't know i wish the works would give me an invoice i mean i could look on my email but my phone's over there i can't be bothered um so a pound or two pound each basically i am passionately against paying the prices for official scrapbooking products so stuff like heidi shine or ranger ink or any stuff like that i know it's good quality i appreciate that but i do think there is a massive hike in prices on them just for the brand name and i'm you know i'm good with my brands you know what i'm like about kiki k but i just don't want to pay that for something like heidi shine i just don't want to do it so i thought i would try out these inks that i just randomly stumbled across on the works website and um, I have given these a little bit of a test out and they're fine. They work really, really nicely. So there's the, I think we've got Cerise and Turquoise. So pink and blue, basically. Um, they are really, really strong colours. They might even be so strong they might need watering down a little bit. Um, obviously they don't come with a dropper or a spray or anything. I do have a couple of little spray bottles, just like little ones you buy in the travel sections of places like Superdrug, just those little plastic ones you get from Poundland. So I have spray bottles that I can use and ink droppers that I can use. So for the price, they are really, really good. As I said, I have tested them out and they are fab. Um, these ones, there's the silver and the gold. I think they described it as rose gold on the, um, uh, on the website. But anyway, um, these ones, the shellac drawing inks are much, much thicker so if you were going to spray them or anything i think they would need watering down quite a fair bit but that's fine because that means you get more use out of it so yes i'm actually really really pleased with these little bottles of ink they did have some other colors some of them were out of stock like i really wanted the purple which was out of stock which is a shame i didn't want the red because i don't think i'd use it but yes when they're back in stock i will probably get the other colors as well because these are actually surprisingly really really good and then I went a little bit crazy on embellishment dots, enamel dots and sequin stickers and that kind of thing. As you see, I already got, yeah, come here, I'm making a mess. I already got these ones, but I also got, the. I think I got two of the ones I really like. Did I? I'm not, no, I can't. No, it's just one of these. So these, I think they were all a pound each. Some of them might have been two pound i don't remember um so there's these shimmer dome stickers which are like these glittery sequined ones these are in this gorgeous turquoise really sort of tropical ocean color so love those and then i got the same in the green i think they call it the emerald green very emerald color very beautiful and i got two of the blue which are sort of a denim color really really pretty really really pleased with those and then i just got one pack of these adhesive gems these are all just simple purple gems in various sizes but there's also i don't know how well you can see but there are little, tiny tiny little hearts and itty itty bitty little stars and then some very small dots as well so i love those stars they are beautiful so there's those then from paper mania the neon shimmer dome stickers now i have been seeing the neon stuff from paper mania in the range quite a lot recently and haven't really been drawn to it i haven't seen this one before though and whoops as it was a pound i thought i would just give them a go and yeah they're quite nice i mean neon pink's not really my favorite but yeah i thought i would thought i would give them a go and for a pound you can't go too wrong then i got two of these from dovecraft forget me not 
forget me not a decent enamel dots and I couldn't resist these because of the different shapes because we've got the hearts and I really like that style of heart I don't know what to call it you know it's more like a hand-drawn one than a proper rounded one I don't know and there's also some miniature hearts and dots as well so obviously got two of those I think these were two pound each though um but I don't mind because I think they're really pretty then lastly on the enamel dots front I got these are they do craft paper mania denim blue dome stickers very much enamel dots and yes as you guys should know by now unless you're new hello if you're new welcome um i love blue i love blue anything so obviously i got two packs of these i'm pretty sure they were a pound each pretty sure like don't quote me on it don't sue me if i've got it wrong but they probably were but anyway really really love those just oh i love blue as you can see i've even got blue nail polish today then i got these two ephemera packs or they're just called die cut shapes packs yeah so i'm just i'm going to quickly open these up so you can see as you can see they were one pound fifty each um i've been noticing a lot of people getting these recently and i was just like i want them too so yes ordered these I will just quickly sort of spread them out so you can get an idea of what is in here so we've got some big ones oh I like that big butter knife that's pretty cool there's actually how many are in here it says 50 pieces but it feels like more oh we've got a a spoon and a fork as well oh that's awesome and banner it's just just trying to sort of flick through them fairly quickly so we're not all here for hours but it feels it really does feel like more than 50 um but yeah very vintagey things there's this chandelier rose oh look is that a it's an old school hot air balloon thing clock butterflies i love butterflies so much i saw my first um butterfly of spring today in the garden and it made me really really happy it was an emperor butterfly just in case you were wondering and i'm super pleased about this because my um dear friend zoe at uk plan of love um she got this pack and she pointed this slight misspelling out and at first i thought it might be just in her pack like an accidental one but apparently it's in every pack and i'm really happy about the frebds i don't know why it just amuses me so much frebds hello frebds I just i love it i don't know why like it's an error and it just really makes me laugh so anyway Frebs. and what else we got laughter smile birdcage a heart made out of roses that's lovely roses frames eiffel tower just there's quite a mishmash in here really going with you know using the word ephemera in its truest sense so that is the first pack called the vintage die cut shapes and then is the natural die cut shapes pack which come here packaging there we go i'll just spill these out again this one is 25 pieces instead of 50 so it will take slightly less time to quickly show you what's in here oh i like that little birdie on a branch life is pretty amazing one of life's greatest blessings there's lots of like little journaling type things to use here beauty hard journaly journaly welcome Thank you. Oh, I like that rose one. That's lovely. Special as a frame, as whatever that is. True love. Blech. Um, that one. Birdie. Oh, I like the birdie and this one. I have to say, the this pack is way nicer than this pack. This one isn't as much my thing, especially, especially that gross. Um. But other than that, I do really like that one, actually. Um, it is quite nice. And for a £1.50, you can't complain too much. It does have some really nice ones in it. It's just not as much my thing as the uh, the other one, which is really, really awesome. But it has some very lovely bits in. So, yes, happy enough. Right, we are nearly at the end. Just a couple of paper pads to show you. Now, this is my one disappointment in this um, little haul order from the works in that they had a thing of um these paper pads and they were sort of a pick a mix type thing and there was an option of four and in the pictures and obviously they would pick 
the thing for you randomly. So I chose two in the hope, and I didn't have any of those pads already. So I was like, oh, it doesn't matter which ones I get because I don't have any of them already, so I don't mind. So I chose two in the hope that I would at least get two different ones. And so I'm a little annoyed that I got two of the same. I won't lie. And I know it's pick a mix and you risk that kind of thing when it's a pick a mix option, but in all honestly, I think it's laziness on behalf of the person who's picking picking the stuff like they've just grabbed said oh they want to grab two that it hasn't no one's thought oh they want two maybe they might want two different ones so i'm marginally annoyed about that but as they're a pound each i won't complain too much and i will put one in my giveaway and happy mail and presents kind of box thing so let's put one aside for that purpose and i'll just quickly show you what's in here so we've got couple of, I think it's three of each design or four, three of each design. So we've got some roses, some more roses, more roses. It is called lots of roses actually. So that, that would make sense on why there's lots of roses. I do particularly like this one actually. The, this one, actually I quite like that one too. Uh, pinky one there, just a sort of background one there. Those are actually really handy. I use these a lot for ones that don't actually have a pattern on because you feel less guilty about using them to frame something when they don't have a pattern on. I like this green one a lot, actually. Um, a gingham one, a very, very subtle stripe there. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, my phone, which is over on, like, over the other side of the room, started bleeping because Siri thought I was talking to him. Hey, Siri! See, it in the... Oh, there it worked that time. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear that Siri talking to me? Hey Siri! Hey! Hey Siri! What's the time? It's 15.31. I hope you heard that. Anyway, um, <laughs> I wasn't actually talking to him in the first place. So anyway, slightly stripy one there. And I think this is the last one. Yes, this one I like. This and these and these actually as a matter of fact i think will all go quite well together yeah i think they will anyway so there's those as i said slightly disappointed that they didn't give me two separate ones but oh well as i said for a pound you can't moan too much then the very last thing i got is this pack of embossed brights paper stack with embossing the reason i got this is i'm not actually really wanting the embossing but i am so lacking in plain coloured scrapbook paper, 12 by 12 paper, just plain, plain colours, just reds and greens and blues and just plain colours. And they put such a premium on plain colours. Like I could buy three of these kind of paper stacks with patterns on for the price of one pack of plain colours. Like if one of the things about the scrapbooking world that really, really, really annoys me. But anyway, so I got the Emboss Brights. Um, because it was £3, it's much cheaper than getting a proper pack of plain scrapbook papers. Um, and because they're cardstock, you know, they're better because sometimes these, these packs of papers are actually papers and only about, I, you know, 120 GSM or so. But anyway, so that was my reasoning behind it. So I'll just quick, whoa, quickly show you what's in here. I don't know how all the embossing will show, but we'll, we'll see what happens. So first we've got this sort of off brick red. That's an even brickier one. That's what... Can you see the embossing? I don't know if you can see it. You might be able to see it better on the other side, actually, where it's um, sort of pressed through. Then we have a pale orange, a yellow with embossed um, dots. I quite like that one, actually. A light apple green, which has actually got tiny little hearts, I think. I don't know, it's hard to see without my glasses. Um, this green one, which has got stripes. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm sorry if that really freaked anyone out, by the way. <laughs> this cut green, another green with a very light embossing on. This lovely blue with a zigzag or chevron embossedness. This light purple, which has just got a very, just a general embossing on. Oh, it's actually a grid looking at it in a different light. Yeah, a grid one. This darker purple, which has a floral embossing this bright pink actually i do like a lot of these papers that sort of aren't like one solid color there's like little darker bits and lighter bits and a sort of watercolory effect i do like that a lot anyway this one's got triangles embossed this 
pink, lighter pink one with the diagonal stripes embossed. And then do we repeat? Yeah, I think we're repeating. So red, red, orange, yellow. Yeah, we're repeating. So there's two of each design in there. So the three quid, I thought that was not bad. So there we go, there is my little haul from The Works. I haven't put the envelopes in this sort of closing shot because they're just, they're just massive. They're gonna take up all the space and they're boring to look at. But um, anyway, if there's any of this stuff that you like, I would recommend moving quite quickly to get it because The Works do change stock constantly, all the time. Like I ordered a matter of days after a friend of mine had done an order and there was this paper pad that she got that I really wanted and they already didn't have it. And it's not like it's on the site saying out of stock, it's just gone from the site. So it tends to be at the works once it's gone, it's gone. Apart from their stuff like this, like the basics stuff, any of this branded stuff does go very, very quickly. So yes, as I said, if you like any of it, move rather well, rather swiftly and yes these inks are awesome i'm really really i'm quite pleased with myself about these i'm not gonna lie to you i just need to try and locate my ink dropper i know i've got one somewhere somewhere but anyway so there you go there is everything that i got if um you order online and you can't find a discount code try use the code give me 10 in all caps so give me all caps and then 10 the number will get should get you 10% off should hopefully give it a go just in case but they often do these 20% things at the weekend and if you've got a points card then yeah so all of the stuff together came was the like the price it was worth was about 36 pound and something and I paid much much less than that so minus 20% minus another eight pound you can do the do the do the maths for that yourself I can't be bothered so anyway thank you so so much for watching I am trying to be good I'm not on an official no spend but I'm gonna now be good ish after this except for the Kiki K stuff I've got coming in the next few days Shh. so keep an eye out for that one okay I am going goodbye everybody thank you for watching bye